Hi, I'm Len Groom, Technical Product Manager for Power Sports at Amsoil, and today we're talking about heat, specifically in V-twin motorcycles. When we look at V-twins, heat is always a topic of conversation. Heat in these bikes, if not controlled, can cause damage. Um, pistons, cylinders, always something that people are thinking about when we're talking about heat. If the heat gets too high, you can cause damage to the cylinders, you can scuff the pistons, many, many, many things that can happen to this bike if we don't manage heat. Sometimes the riding situations that we can put the bike into can cause the heat to do different things. Let's say we're in parade traffic or we're in a very slow speed situation where the RPMs are low and the speeds are low. There's not a lot of ability for the bike to cool itself in that situation so heat can start to climb. Let's say we look at the bike itself. A large bagger can have fairings, it can have guards, it can have different covers on it that are going to keep the bike from cooling itself. The outside temperature can have a direct relation to the temperature of that motor. So the environment, the bike itself, the situation that we're putting it in can all have an effect on heat. There are several different ways that you can manage heat, but the first thing you need to do is establish that there is heat. And the best way, and often the cheapest way to do that, is to replace the bike's factory dipstick with one that incorporates a digital readout. You simply unscrew the factory stick, put this one in, and you can actually see the temperature of the oil as you ride the motorcycle. Another way to manage heat would be to add an oil cooler. Some bikes, such as this one, come from the factory with an oil cooler installed. In other situations, you can add one for somewhere around $200. A third option would be to actually add a cooling fan. The cooling fan is gonna fit somewhere in the frame and it's gonna blow air across the cylinders of the motorcycle. This option getting slightly more aggressive, slightly more expensive, you're looking at 200 plus dollars on this one. A more aggressive option would be to remove the bike's factory oil pan and add an aftermarket pan. This allows us to increase the oil capacity, which is also going to help us increase the cooling capacity of this bike. The last option, and by far the most expensive option, would be to do something called diamond cut the cylinders. This process makes the cylinders more efficient and allows the bike to cool better. This fix can cost you more than $1,500. The most important option would be to use a high quality motor oil. Because motor oil not only lubricates the moving parts and separates all of the different pieces, it provides a cooling aspect. The oil itself has to carry this massive amount of heat that we've been talking about away from the engine. And if it can't hold up to the heat, there's gonna be some major problems. At Amsoil, we traditionally do a lot of testing. And in this situation, we ran something called an extreme dyno test, where we took a motorcycle oil and we put it in situations where you normally would not put your bike. 300 degree oil temperatures, 500 degree cylinder temperatures. We tested this product in situations where you could never put it. It held up excellent. For more information on this, take a look at the extreme dyno video. 